Hello viewers, welcome to my Doctor Who themed YouTube channel, Who Ventures. Now, I find it hard to concentrate on more than one project at a time and I was off doing an art project. So that's why I haven't done many videos for a bit. But I'm back on Doctor Who now, so I need to catch up with all my Doctor Who Adventures reviews. So, in this video I'm looking at um, Doctor Who Adventures issue 243 and this is dated the 10th to the 16th of November 2011 and it's £2.50. Now with this you, you get an excellent Peter Oondal set. So you get yellow, red and black. So if you've got some other paint you could paint a pink doll or a purple Dalek, or any, or a rainbow Dalek, that would be cool. So I get a for the magazine now. I've just been catching up with my advent videos as well. So I kind of, it's nice to sit down again, not be singing. So yeah, that's what it looks like on the back. So basically two little Daleks to paint. So this is the cover of the magazine itself, it's got lots of plants design and a riff song saying read my whole life story inside sweeties and a um, side man is saying human circuits upgraded and Dalek saying exterminate so let's What it looks like. Hello time travellers. Notice anything different about me? Look closely, it's obvious. Come on, I've changed. Well, my signature has changed. Displacement is a common side effect of regeneration, so I'm very happy that my hands are caught up with the rest of me. It's very contemporary, cutting edge. Just look at all those wibbly wobbly lines. That's the doctor. And there's the new signature you can see. Mega moment. Episode A Good Man Goes to War. Monsters, Headless Monks, chosen by Tony Stevens. Tell us where. It was horrible and brilliant when Baby Melody was revealed to be a gang of double. Even my dad shouted at the TV when she went all squidgy. Uh, Melody Ganga. It says A Puddle of Pond. And um, this is the Geronimo page. Let's do the Doctor Universe, Matt's a Screen, Doctor Who wins Top Sci-Fi Award. Matt Smith won the 2011 Scream Award for Best Sci-Fi Actor. You know with these magazines I'm probably not going to read as much as you usually do in them anymore because it is quite a chore to be honest. Probably doesn't seem like it but when you've got loads to catch up on, so this is just a quick book. So, Historic Who. There's a DVD of the third Dot Story, Invasion of the Dinosaurs, which is being released with the fourth Dot Story, Android Invasion, containing the freakiest scene with a robot double you'll ever see. Joke. How'd you keep an ugly monster in suspense? I do not know. I'll tell you tomorrow. Oh, and damn the darling. Tardis Trend Tracker, hot, staying in watching TV, yay, watching series 6 in the run up to Christmas, writing your Christmas list full of who stuff, not, staying in doing homework, boo, wishing Doctor Who was on every Saturday, behaving so you don't end up on a naughty list. And we have an article here all about the TARDIS and all the trouble the Doctor gets into with the TARDIS. The Doctor's ship gets in almost as much trouble as he does. So, got all the incidents about what happened to the TARDIS. Now we have a word search, TARDIS trend tracker thing. That's not a TARDIS trend tracker, I'm getting confused. I've done a lot of singing. So you have to find all those pictures. 
So this weather's timeline all laid out properly, like um, in order, so you can understand it. And then we have the ARG comic strip with the um, Minotaur, which looks rather interesting. Again, if you've forgotten which Daleks which, we've got a, another reminder of how to identify Daleks. So just in case you had forgotten, yay. Hey. Then the air patch board got the best gadgets. Got River's Distress Beacon at number five. Amy's Sonic Probe at number 4, iDrives Drives at number 3, the Test Selector at number 2, and the winner is the Junkyard TARDIS. Yay! And a lovely poster of Matt. Then we have Who Look Likes, and it's all about animals. So, the Doctor apparently looks like a baby orangutan. River Song looks like a poodle. Rory looks like an owl. A sad shade looks like a dreadlocked Baudé de Poitou donkey. This is a donkey that has all those dreadlock funny fair things. That's a funny looking donkey. Hmm. Uh, Churchill looks like a bulldog. Well that's obvious. Then Idris apparently looks like a raccoon. Then the comic strip is called Air Force Gone. It's got some interesting. And it doesn't have Amy or Rory in it. So that's interesting. And we've got a usual subscription page. Backstage Secrets, all about how they created the Headless Monks. And all about the other monk type creatures that turned up. Including the Scullion, I haven't seen that one. I just have to watch it. So that's interesting. Then we have the Doctor Doctor question page. Dear Doctor, why do you want to be ginger so much? Is it a time old thing? Do they have to be ginger at least once in their lives? The Doctor replies, there was no rule such, but ginger was all the rage when I was at the Academy. To be fair, none of my pals had actually regenerated back then. They just got lucky first time out of the gate. It's such a cool colour. I did go blonde for a bit which is on the fringe of Ginge, but people stop taking me seriously. Maybe next time, eh? Dear Doctor, are baby Daleks cute? And if you found one, would it hurt you like the big ones do? Doctor replies, cute, yuck more like, little green blobs with ugly tentacles all over the place, just like they are when they grow up. But baby Daleks smell a whole lot worse, because, well, you know what babies do. And with all those tentacles, it's difficult to find nappies that fit. Dear Doctor, what is your most embarrassing moment ever? The Doctor replies, On average, the average man makes at least one profoundly embarrassing gaffe every day. Bearing in mind that I'm way above average, statistically speaking, given I've been around for 1,200 years, I've lost count. Let's just say I've had more than my fair share of pink cheek moments. Luckily, the worst was on the crimson moon of Vermilion Major, the copper-coloured planet of blood, so no one noticed me blush, except the vicar. Doctor's top three buzzes. One, two hundred buzz. Ah, this buzz was just supposed to go to Victoria, but it ended up flying to the planet St. Halius. Crusade 50 is at second place. 
I took a trip on this spooky buzz and faced an alien that very nearly stole my identity. And third is Bannerman Buzz. I used the TARDIS to stop this disguised alien time machine from crashing into Earth. That was a weird episode. But later we've got lots of marvellous drawings and more food. So we've got a Dalek jelly. That's pretty cool. And TARDIS bedrooms and a Dalek thing puppet. Um, ultimate monster collection is the Forest of Chini, the tree guards. Now we have all the puzzles. And the pirate saying, Yo ho ho, any wrong answers and you'll walk the plank. Go ah. And we have a monster diary from the leader of the 13th Cyber Fleet. Um, um, in the next issue, we have three mega slime pack, and all about the Doctor's changing faces. And the who said thing is that most certainly is the Doctor, and he is most certainly dead. That's Canton, I think. Then find out next week. Last week's answer was the Doctor in the lodge. So, yay! That's all the goodies in this particular issue. Thank you.